Open the Find My app on the device you're using and tap the Devices tab. A map will pop up with a list of your Find My enabled devices. Select your iPhone from the list, if your lost iPhone is dead. It will appear on the map as an iPhone with a black screen, and you'll see red text in the sidebar telling you when the Find My iPhone last known location was saved. If your iPhone is turned on, it will appear with an active, colorful, home screen, and you'll see a battery icon shown in the sidebar showing remaining battery life. Tap directions to get Apple Maps directions to your lost iPhone's location. If your iPhone is turned on, you can also tap play sound to help you locate your iPhone. Tap activate under mark as lost to remotely lock your device and display a custom message with a phone number where you can be reached in case someone finds your lost iPhone. If the iPhone is dead, you can toggle on notify when found to send notifications and a location update to your iPad the next time your lost iPhone is turned on. Go to iCloud.com and sign in using your Apple ID and password. If prompted, click Allow to allow use of iCloud.com on the device you're using and complete two-factor authorization. Click the Find iPhone app icon. Select all devices at the top and choose your missing iPhone. If your lost iPhone is dead, it will display with a black screen with smaller text beneath telling you when the Find My iPhone last location was saved. If your iPhone is turned on, it will appear with an active, colorful, home screen, and you'll see a battery icon shown in the sidebar showing remaining battery life. If the iPhone is turned on or offline, not dead, you can tap play sound to help you locate your iPhone when you get close to it. Tap lost mode to remotely lock your device and display a custom message with a phone number where you can be reached in case someone finds your lost iPhone. The erase iPhone option should only be used if you think your iPhone is permanently lost or stolen, and then only after certain other steps. Head over to www.google.com slash maps slash timeline and make sure you're logged into your Google account. Check your location history status at the bottom of your screen. If location history is on, you will be able to use this method. Unfortunately, if it is not enabled, you will not be able to use Google Maps to find your lost iPhone. If location history was already enabled, select the date your iPhone went missing by clicking today or by clicking the drop-down menus to enter a previous date. Check your last location and go get that phone.